Hi guys, welcome back for another DIY punch needle video. This video is going to be how to make this really fun cactus design. As always, the punch needle kit as well as the pattern are available in my Etsy shop if you would like to go that route. Um, if not, then this video is just gonna teach you how to do punch needle. You can use this as a design inspiration and kind of freehand your own, like whatever you wanna do. Um, but if you're here because you purchased a kit from my shop, I really appreciate it. And we are going to dive into all the details on how to get started making your cactus punch needle kit. So let's jump right in. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that your monk's cloth is really tight on your hoop. So whether you're using a hoop like this or more of like a bamboo wooden one, either way you want to make sure everything's nice and tight on your embroidery hoop. Um, the next thing is you're going to trace your pattern. So for time's sake, I went ahead and did that, but I just used a felt tip marker and traced my pattern. And then of course I have my yarns that I'm going to use as well, uh, ready to go, and then my punch needle. So um, without further ado, let's dive right into it. I'm going to show you how to thread your needle first. So most punch needles come with a needle threader. I'm just using this piece of um, like floral wire that's looped over. So what you're gonna do is take the looped side and stick it through the hole in your punch needle. And then you're gonna make it go down into the center of the punch needle just like this until it comes out the other side there we go and once it comes out the other side we're going to put our yarn into this loop so i think i'm going to start with this nice light green color here on the bottom so i'm going to stick my yarn in the loop of my threader and then i'm just going to pull it just like that all right, so we have the needle threaded here and I'm just pulling it down so there's just a little bit of excess there. All right, so the next step is gonna be just to start punching. So just pick a spot where you want to begin. I'm gonna start down here at this bottom edge and I'm just gonna be punching right along the edge of the uh, like embroidery hoop. So as close as I can get to the edge is where I'm gonna start. So I punched in, then we're gonna flip our work over and you want to pull the yarn from the other side. You don't wanna pull the yarn from inside of the needle. You wanna pull this side so it pops out just like that. And then we can turn it back over and begin. I'm going to be facing the open side of my needle forward in the direction that I'm going, keeping my needle on the fabric when I raise it up, and then just punching down every, you know, you wanna try to keep your stitches pretty um, similar in length. So for this, I'm just going r basically right up against the embroidery hoop, like as far as it'll allow me to go. And this is just gonna be the edge of my piece. Now, one of the tricks here is to make sure that you have plenty of slack in your yarn. If you do not have slack and this yarn is pulling, it's going to pull your stitches out of your monk's cloth. If your stitches are coming out and you have plenty of slack in your yarn, then that could be an issue with the type of monk's cloth that you have. The holes could be too big, something like that. But if you order your kit from my Etsy shop, then you don't have to worry about that because the punch needle that I give you in the kit, which is, is this one, this really nice adjustable one, um, I give you the right punch needle that goes with the monk's cloth that I include in the kit, so you don't even have to worry about that. I think that's one of the things that people find most frustrating about punch needles when the um, yarn doesn't stay in the um, cloth. And so that can be avoided by making sure that you, one, have slack in your yarn, and two, you're using the right size needle with the right size monk's cloth. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. So once we've made it back to where we started, we're going to start laying the bricks. So which means we're gonna be going 
in between each of the stitches. So you don't wanna match the stitches, like you don't wanna go in where you went in on the last round. You want to go right in between the stitches. And so we're gonna do that all the way around and we're gonna keep doing that, just filling in this area. And then once we get to the end of that, once that's complete, I'll show you how to cut that yarn off, how to kind of finish it off, and then we'll thread our next color. All right, so here I am at the end. I've filled everything in. So just stick your punch needle through one last time, flip your work over, and we're going to pull from inside of the needle this time and create a bit of a tail with our yarn and then just trim it off, leaving a bit of a tail. Just like that. All right, so there's that. Now I'm gonna move on to this hill. I'm gonna use this nice, um, neutral, I don't know, tan, creamy tan color. So again, we're going to thread our needle. Put the yarn through the hoop loop there and pull it through just like that. And there's going to be nothing different with this technique um, than the last one. So I, I just start at one corner. I'm gonna start here and work my way this way, right up against the embroidery hoop here. And I'm just gonna follow the line, follow, I'm gonna go around the base of the cactus, follow, da 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 da, da and just fill in, fill in um, until I'm done. Then we'll move on to the cactus and then the last two and that'll be it. So this is another really great beginner friendly one. Again, punch through, flip it over, and pull that through. So that way your tail's on the back end of your piece or your artwork, whatever you want to call it, project. So the, t you know, of course you don't want any like loose ends flopping around um, on the front. Punching along and then we're going to go right up next to the green. Don't be afraid. Just stick right in there just like you layered with bricks um, on the green. You're going to do the exact same thing when you have two colors touching. Just go right up next to it. You don't want any white space between them, so make sure, I kinda like to push away the, the yarn just a little bit to make sure that I go right up next to it. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if 
Even if the sky is falling down All right, so we completed the cactus punch needle. I really love the way it turned out. I decided to add a little bit of pink in the cloud because I felt like it needed like some different colors. So uh, I went a little different with pink there. But um, to finish off your project, you can use a piece of plain cotton fabric and remove your project from your embroidery hoop. Put the, um, you wanna trim these little pieces and then put the cotton fabric down. I'm actually just gonna insert a clip of me doing this on another punch needle project. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it with a hot glue gun if you want to permanently adhere this project to a wooden um, embroidery hoop for you to be able to hang up and it kind of gets rid, it gets rid of all the excess around the edges so it looks nice and pretty and you can hang it up on a wall or put it on a shelf, something like that. So I'll walk you through how to do that now. Let's move on to um, closing up the back and finishing up. So since I'm using a different embroidery hoop than you'll be likely using um, if, if you order the kit from Etsy, um, or if you get pick one up from Michaels or something like that, you'll probably have one of these wooden ones. I don't want to attach this piece onto this embroidery hoop, obviously, because I'm going to be reusing this one. It's a lot more expensive. Um, so I'm gonna remove it from here and set that aside and I'm going to basically remount it onto this embroidery hoop. So first go ahead and lay down your piece of cotton over the, um, just the plain circle of the embroidery hoop and then lay your punch needle project over the top and just try to line it up with the edges that you already had marked. And then we're gonna go ahead and place top over it and it needs to be loosened a little bit to fit there we go here we go so before i tighten it up let's go ahead and turn it over and pull everything nice and tight you don't want it to be loose creating wrinkles and such on the front so just give everything a nice tight tug And if everything looks good, everything's positioned the way that you want. I think I'm actually gonna bump this down a little bit more. Let me see if I can just pull it. There we go, looks better. There we go, so now we can go ahead and tighten it up. Just like that. All right, so this first step is going to be to go ahead and cut the edges of this cotton um, pretty short. So we're gonna go all the way down pretty short. I need to sharpen my scissors just like this. We're gonna go all the way around and then we're going to use the monk's cloth to fold over. We're gonna put some hot glue here on the edge and then fold over like that and that's gonna be the way we kind of seal it up and make the back of the project look nice and pretty instead of all the yarn and such showing through. Okay, now it's time to cut our monk's cloth. We're gonna cut with about, maybe about a half of an inch left. We're gonna leave about a half an inch, I should say, all the way around. Hot glue gun is nice and warmed up, so all we're gonna do is just take it around the edge here and little bit by little bit, wrap the monk's cloth around the embroidery hoop and do that all the way around. So there you have it. It's all nice and finished up. So the project just kind of looks complete on the back. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget you can get a kit in my Etsy shop. If you're interested in that, it's etsy.com slash shop slash dashing and dainty. You can also just get the patterns over there um, or you can just use this as inspiration to go and create your own. So thanks for watching this video today and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.